Hey guys on YouTube, it's me Kumon2 and it's time for vlog number 6. But first I want to say my friend, you want to have something, one, I might mispronounce your name man, but he told me a few days ago that the head of Cartoon Network has resigned his post. I'm kind of happy about this even though I don't watch the Cartoon Network. They probably, they're going to bring back the old shows like Edda and Eddie, Foster's Home and all the great classics and because they finally realized that they have lost ratings and that the guy had to resign oh my god damn maybe it was like boycotts or something that'd be freaking awesome that was cool so that's something to look forward to there's a new naruto game coming out in addition to um excel well ultimate ninja 4 um naruto ninja council 4 which is essentially um naruto Saikyo ninja daishiku 5 in japan because the reason why we don't have Ninja Council 3 in America is because Japan, America wanted the next Naruto game to be on the DS. Like, they released Ninja Council 4 in America, but renamed it Ninja Council 3 and cut the story to the part where Sasuke fights Itachi, like, just that. So, essentially, we don't get Ninja Council 3. I don't really care anymore since I don't really play Naruto DS games, so. I'm really disappointed with what Cartoon Network's doing. They're gonna keep showing reruns of Naruto. Isn't your point to try to catch up to Japan? Like, they, sh they only have 10 episodes left. Do you know how that must feel for like, some American fans who wanna see Shippuden? That must be like, grueling. Um, so why can't they just show the 10 episodes? They don't have anything better to show, seriously. I mean, seriously, what's their competition? Flapjack? Oh, hells no. Something about a gay sailor? Um, what else? Star Wars The Clone Wars. I don't really have beef on that since I don't watch it. I was never a fan of Star Wars, but um, whatever. Skunk Fu? No. Why? Retards. A skunk who knows karate. Yeah, that's gonna make money. Chowder? I don't watch, but it seems a bit stupid. The only good show is Total Drama Island in 16. Now, I was talking to my sister, and we were Cartoon Network fans back then in the 90s. Um, and she said those shows, Carson, um, TDI, TDI at 16, she doesn't watch them, but she said they're saviors. They're not like the best thing that's happened to Cartoon Network. They're just saviors out of this depression of ratings. So, yeah. I want to talk about how like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel have all gone down in their own ways. So, yeah. First, I want to stop talk about Nickelodeon because they have the least of my troubles. Okay, Nickelodeon, um, they didn't really change anything except um, they don't really show, they mostly always show Spongebob and they show iCarly and True Jackson or whatever. Um, nothing really that much. It's like there's no more Team Nick anymore because all of the fans have grown up and they're about my age or so. So no more Team Nick, all those other shows are gone. Not a lot of cartoons. It's mostly Spongebob, Fairly Odd Parents back at the barnyard or something now i don't watch that show i just watch like certain episodes because they're funny um like that little ferret dude i think his name starts with uh what does it start with freddy yeah he's hysterical because there was this one part where this human saw them and he's like oh no he's seen us we'll all be sold on the internet and he's got like an axe in his hand it's like it was hysterical so nickelodeon not really um nothing bad that that bad all right let's move on to cartoon network you already know what i say all the retarded shows they won't bring back the class all the retarded shows need to get off now please in the future toonami's gone they've lost like more than half their ratings because of that this just bring it back Let's move on to Disney Channel. I'm really disappointed with Disney Channel out of all three of them because Disney Channel is just becoming whack. I just, I kind of hate it more than Cartoon Network. Okay. So Disney Channel back then, you had like a lot of great shows. The Proud Family, um, even Stevens, That's So Raven, which is probably the best show that was ever on Disney Channel. Um, the Sweet Life, Zack and Cody, season two, not season one-ish and a lot of the great cartoons. And now it's just <sighs> Hannah Montana, um, Sweet Life on Deck, Wizards of Waverly Place, which I kind of like, and um, Sun of Chance, which I'm kind of getting into now. Hannah Montana is one of the most retarded shows I've ever seen because Disney Channel is losing their ideas. Yeah, a girl who leads a double life as a pop star, that's never gonna happen in real life. I mean, seriously, there's no drama, it's just, horrible stuff. The only funny one in the show, I think, is um, Billy Ray Cyrus. 
So Hannah Montana I hate, and like a lot of people just hate Miley Cyrus in general because I don't think she can sing that well. My sister also said that Disney Channel is just losing it with movies too because like they're not adding that drama thing to make it seem like a real movie. What I am really pissed off about right now is that people are saying that the Nickelodeon original movie Spectacular is a ripoff of High School Musical and Camp Rock. It is not a ripoff of that. I've seen that movie once. Personally, I think it's better than both of them. Um, and it's just, it has a better plot, better music, and it's like, for both genders, because High School Musical seemed more like a girl movie, and Camp Rock, the only reason people watched that was because of the Jonas Brothers. Think for one second, it was the Jonas Brothers that they watched for. They didn't watch it for all these other people, yeah, you go to a singing camp, they didn't watch it for that. High School Musical, it was good because, like, it wasn't a movie that tried to bring people in because of stars, like, oh, we have this star, this star. It's just like a small idea and it ended up a big success. Now, that doesn't mean Spectacular and all these other musicals is a ripoff of it. Just because like some parts in the movie feel like the movie, it doesn't. So all these other people online keep saying that. Like no people I know, but they just keep saying that. It's, it gets kind of annoying. Cause High School Musical, it's like not that, yeah, it's okay. It's decent, I'd say. What I don't understand is how did Spectacular only get 3.3 million views and the, that movie Dadnapped got like 4.6 million views? What the hell? I've seen Dadnapped. That is like probably one of the most retarded Disney Channel movies. Yeah, your dad gets kidnapped. In real life, if your dad gets kidnapped, that's like dangerous. And they make it like a funny joke, like, ah, ha, ha, he kidnapped by like 15 year old, ha, ha, ha. That's not funny. And then like, he gets kidnapped by other people. It doesn't even seem that much dangerous. It seems retarded. Yeah, with an all-star Disney Channel cast. What the hell, Disney Channel? Just stop it. You're going down. All your movies are going down. I, I kind of hate Disney Channel more than Cartoon Network now. Kind of. So this is the end of vlog number six, you guys. I kind of had fun making this. So this is Q12 signing off, you guys. I'll see you later.